How do the Eagles fail? Well, it's very simple. Jalen Hurts is an average to below average quarterback. These receivers have a major learning curve this year. The linebackers and secondary aren't good enough and the dreaded knock on wood injury word rears its ugly head again to take out the guys that are essential to this team, the Brandon Grahams, the Fletcher Coxes, Lane Johnson, and uh, Brandon Brooks, and Jason Kelsey, and, and all these older vets that they need on those lines. But look, the one thing going for this team is there's an unknown factor, and that's why I think a lot of us here in Philadelphia are excited for this season because it's the first time in a long time where we really have no idea, no expectations, but the way this thing doesn't work out is if they bet on Jalen Hurts and it doesn't work, and next year we're back to square one again going for a quarterback using one of our three first-round picks or trading for a veteran. Eagles fans, what's going on? Let's talk about a couple of reasons why the Eagles could run into some trouble this year. Uh, first reason would be injuries. Uh, the Eagles have seen injuries on the offensive line the last couple of years. Hopefully that doesn't snowball into this year. Right now they're coming the season very healthy, and hopefully that keeps up. Every team deals with it. I mean, look at the Ravens right now. So hope for the best. Let's see what happens. Secondly, it's a first-year head coach. There's going to be some mistakes, some growing pains, but fall forward, fail forward. These are things that everyone deals with. As long as Coach Sirianni and the players can adapt and go and keep growing as the season goes on, that's what matters. In general, though, it's all about learning from your mistakes and just trying to be better and use as coaching points, teaching points, and for this team to come together, rally together, and grow uh, year one under the Sirianni era. Fly goes fly. What could cause the Eagles to underperform in 2021? I think there's three main things to look at. The first thing is if injuries strike again. The Eagles have been an injury-ridden team over the last couple of years. Uh, combined with poor drafting means they are not a deep team, really anywhere except the offensive line. There's really nowhere else the Eagles can afford injuries. And so if injuries strike, it could derail this season early. The second thing that could derail the season is if Jalen Hurts doesn't protect the football. He only played four games last year, but he had four interceptions and nine fumbles in that time. And 13 potential turnovers in four games is far too many. And so Jalen Hurts has to do a better job of taking care of the football. Uh, the third thing would be if the pass rush isn't able to perform at an elite level. The Eagles have big holes and question marks on the back seven of this defense. At linebacker, there's not much depth. It's a position that the Eagles haven't invested in traditionally. And there's major questions at safety and even really at cornerback uh, as Darius Slay tries to bounce back off of a rough year. And so if the pass rush isn't able to mask those holes, it could be open season on the Eagles defense once again. Let's talk about why you think the Eagles will fail in 2021. Look, it comes down to they really haven't addressed some of the key issues. A, a aging offensive line, those tend not to get healthier as time goes on. And Jalen Hurts, inconsistency with the foot and carelessness with the football. Those are all great points. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, Jalen Hurts is a very unproven quarterback. He had four games. While he may have put up good fantasy numbers, uh, he didn't certainly translate into good actual football. And plus, just the health of this li of this line, this team, uh, they just can't stay healthy. And and you also have a rookie head coach who, let's be honest, wasn't really on many people's radar. Now, you know, uh, again, we've said that before, but you know, lightning doesn't strike twice too many times. So, I don't uh, expect big things for the Eagles in 2021. Now, I will give you a reason why the Philadelphia Eagles will not be successful this year. You know, people will want to blame Nick Sirianni. You know, they'll want to blame Jonathan Gannon. You know, they're going to blame everyone. You know, when it comes down to is the front office. You know, was Jalen Hurts the right pick? Or was Jalen Hurts a safe pick for a Carson Wentz back up at a cheap cost of a second round pick? When Jalen Hurts was projected to be a fourth round pick? You know, did the Eagles jump the gun? So for me, the Eagles 2021 season is disappointing is due to Jalen Hurts and the front office. Plain and simple. They have the players on defense right now, but you know, it comes down to the front office trading, you know, a potential quarterback, a franchise quarterback in Carson Wentz and keeping an unproven Jalen Hurts. Who, who I'm rooting for 
but you never know.